Hey there, and thanks for watching. Um, I'm a little upset with my subscribers and the channels I subscribe to because none of y'all told me that the Indians, or people from India, feather or dots not feathers, went to the moon. I was not aware of this. I mean, they see they made the t-shirts for the kids, and they got this cool graphic of the Vikram descent trajectory. And I think Vikram was a character either on Seinfeld or that old show Mad About You. One of the guys, he either owned a store or drove a cab or whatever, tech support, I don't know. But you can see they're, they're very happy that they landed on the moon. And nobody told me. And in reality, I got to tell you, I'm not really upset that nobody told me. Because coming up, we're going to find out that they're not so excited about landing on the moon. But they're super excited about watching a cartoon about landing on the moon. And I'm going to pause it here when it comes up. And, uh, you know, people of India are just like any other people. They're great. Got made in God's image. More power to them. Take a look at that. That's the cartoon they're watching. And so a person could say, well, of course they have to watch a simulation because you don't have a camera on the moon. But why does it have to be 1980s cartoon graphics? Have you guys looked at a video game in 2019? It's amazing. It's, I mean, it almost fools you into thinking they're real. And so these these nice Indian space stations or India Space Authority or whatever the hell they call it put a cartoon down and convince these people that this lunar module was actually going to go on the moon. <laughs> and it's amazing to me. And I apologize. I'm not making fun of you if you're Indian. And I'm not making fun of you if you believe the moon landing is real. But I just have to watch this and scratch my head and wonder if people believe this. And I know a lot of people do, and more power to you. God bless you. People believe that Elon Musk put a convertible in space with a fake moon man. And then all of a sudden, they lose it. It missed its trajectory, apparently. Um, it's supposed to be on the red line, and now it's over. And the cartoon, I wonder what the cartoon... I haven't watched this, so I don't know what the cartoon's going to do. Apparently, it's not going to do anything. And they're very upset. And really cure and the guy with the microphone. He's got a wireless mic, so we know we're after nineteen ninety five. Even though the cartoon is nineteen eighty, <laughs> which is so cool to me. And so where's the green dot gonna go? It's not gonna hit the place it's supposed to. It looks like it's gonna hit like number two from that scale. You got zero and minus five and five. And they're all watching the cartoons. And they've all got the computer terminals similar to NASA and they got a guy on a microphone or a couple people on speakers but they're not talking just holding them to the mouth are you going to say something come in come in cosmonauts oh yep your turn she looked at him you see she looked at him <laughs> she's like dude you're supposed to be talking and they're so nervous and I appreciate anybody who loves science and wants to better humanity but when you're trying to sell me that your rover is going to go to space and you're showing me a 1980 something cartoon. I mean, that's a, it's just, this is absurd. So we're going to watch a little more and look, they're all really loving people. They're super nice. God's children, maybe duped into it. Maybe they believe it's really happening. I think, I think the guys at NASA really didn't know that Kubrick was directing the film. And I think they really thought it was real. Just like we think a lot of stuff's real that's not real. Elections or the money system. The Administrative Procedures Act running the country. Cue the mic. That is like a 1950s microphone. I work at a freaking drag strip and I've got better equipment than these guys. And it's a small family owned thing. It's not even, we're not that high tech. And look at that. This is so hilarious. The sky is no longer the limit, something they said. And that thing, like, nearly stopped. It's, like, hovering. It's, it should have crashed by now. But apparently it hasn't because we need more drama. So this the second most populous nation made a cartoon to go to the moon, which is awesome. And China hasn't even... Well, China had a moon thing. That's right. They did a moon thing, like, four or five years ago. And now they're all sad. Elton John Glasses is really upset there. And I love that guy, but dude, your hair. Get a ball cap. I don't know if they have ball caps in India. I've only been to Mexico. Have I been to Canada? No, just Mexico, so I don't know. But 
um, they got the lanyards. They're they're styling. And I want to see if I can find this cartoon one more time. Are they going to show it? They're also very sad. The lander did not make it. Let's see if we can find the cartoon real quick. Tell me if this is not a 1980s cartoon. That movie, uh, oh, there's uh, Super Troopers. Where they have Afghanistan animation. This is what it looked like. Look at those graphics. And Vikram, I know, I know Vikram was a character in a 1990s sitcom. So leave your comments. Sorry to blather on so long. I just found this so hilarious. And I haven't seen really anybody cover it, so I thought I'd take a stab. As always, your comments are appreciated. I hope all is well out there. The world's getting crazy, so take good care of the people you love.